city and in the territory on west, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. States Marshal, the first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. You'll be going past James Crossing and you'll miss it. Oh, Ma. Got breakfast all ready for you, son. You can start out with a nice hot stomach. Ma, I ain't got the heart for it. Raz, you're 16 now. You got to get your hand in sometime, you know. Your pa'll be getting out soon. We have to have something to show him for all his years in there. Ma, I just plain don't want to rob a stagecoach. Oh, now, Raz, that's no way to talk. This is a chance for you to get started. It's high time for you to be thinking about your future, boy. Oh, I ain't got the juice for it, I tell you. Raz, you fair shame me carrying on this way. What if your pa was to hear you talk like this? Or your big brothers? No chance of them hearing, Ma. Ain't one of them's got less than two years to go. Raz, I've had enough of your foolishness. Now get up out of that bed and get to that stagecoach. Oh, all right, Ma. I got your favorite breakfast. How many insides, Rick? I thought you'd like that. Yeah, thanks. I got Buck saddled for you, too, son. Buck? Oh, Ma, that's done it. I ain't going. Well, you surely ain't going to walk to a hold-up, boy. But you know how spooky Buck gets with me, Ma. The minute I pick up the bridle reins, he gets a hump in his back. I just can't sit that horse. He's run off with me the last ten times I rode him. No, Ma, I ain't going on with Buck. Then go steal a horse you like and have done with it. We need another one around here anyway. I can't steal a horse, Ma. Then eat your breakfast and ride out on Buck. I ain't giving you no choice, Raz Hawkins. All right, Ma. I'll do it. But I don't like it. the sugar, will you, Matt? Oh, sure, Kitty. There you are. Thank you. I'd like it back when you're finished, Kitty. <laughs> Here you are, Doc. Thank you. Like Chester says, helps the coffee slip down. <laughs> Chester, oh, say, what do you hear from him, Matt? Did he ever get to Hayes City? Yeah, he did. I got a telegram last night. He's coming back on the stage. Oh, uh, why? Well, he delivered the papers in Hayes, all right, but his horse broke a leg. Oh, that's too bad. He was pretty fond of that horse. Oh, Chester's fond of every horse he sees, Kitty. <laughs> I hope he doesn't forget my calico. Calico? Mm -hmm. I asked him to bring me back what he could. You asked him to be... And he's going to pick it out? Well, sure. Oh, Kitty, don't you know that Chester can hardly tell one color from another? <laughs> doesn't matter. Yeah, I think Doc's right, Kitty. He wears some hollering outfits oh, sometimes. Just so he brings the calico and lots of it. I'll make the colors work. Yeah, I'm sure you will. But uh, just be prepared for a few surprises. to stretch your legs. Uh, 
Mr. Dobbs? Mr. Dobbs, when we start out again, would you mind me sitting up there with you, Mr. Oh, awful crowded inside? Uh, you're proud foot with the marshal's office, ain't you? Uh, yes, I am. Oh, I was sure hoping you'd ride up there with me. Well, poor old horse of mine broke his leg and Hayes I had to shoot First him. First time I ever had a shotgun missing you. Oh, well, now, I ain't here on official business or nothing like that. I, I told you I just needed a ride back to Dodge City. Now, wait a minute. We ain't even got a pistol on you. Well, no, I don't use it. Well, where's your shotgun? What I need on them for? I know. You got a couple of revolvers in that suitcase, ain't you? Well, no, I got that suitcase full of calico from Miss Kitty. She's a friend of mine in Dodge. Calico? Yeah, oh, I got her some real nice Mm -hmm. colors. If I'd known that you wasn't riding official like, I'd I'd have refused this run. I I told you, my horse broke. I know, but I... I thought that was just talk, part of a plan to make your being here look naturally. He said he didn't want to call attention to the money. Who said? Well, a banker in Hayes. He's sending it to the bank in Dodge. See you were. Oh. All right, everybody. Load up. We're moving out. Uh, Mr. Dobbs? Mr. Dobbs, just how much money is the banker sending to Dodge? $20,000. Mm-hmm. Well, well, Mr. Dobbs, the worst outlaws in the country will be after us if the word has got out. That's just what I know. Come on. Let's get up on the box there. Oh, if I live through this, I'm going back to Boston and Hall Teachers. Hang on, everybody. He knew about the gold all the time. I said, hand me down that satchel. He, he ain't giving you that. Oh, yes, I am. I ain't going to get no, shot. No, Mr. Dobbs, don't do that. Don't, don't, don't do it. Here. Mr. Oh. Thanks, mister. Now, you, Chester, you, you pile all them watches and things in there. Well, I... You just wait, Mr. Dillon, here about this. He's sure going to come after you, Roger. There. Take it. Man, that thing's heavy, ain't it? It'll take both hands. You carry it, Chester. Me? Well, I gotta hold this gun. No, you don't. What he says, don't what? make a stand. Let's get started. What are you gonna do with me? 
We can walk it. It ain't far. Walk? Well, I don't know where Buck is. Buck? Well, there's two men, Chester. Probably a whole gang covering us from somewhere. Come on, you. Oh. Mr. Dobbs, you, you see that Miss Kitty gets your calico. Sure. And tell Mr. Dillon. Be sure. sure and tell Mr. Dillon. Sure. Come on, pick sure. up that bag and start moving. Now, this is crazy. It don't make no sense at all. <laughs> Satchel's heli. How soon are we going to get to where we're going? We're there now, Chester. What? That little shack? What's that, your hideout? That's my home. Ma will have something to eat. Ma? Red? Red, is that you? Yeah, Ma, it's me. Well, get on in here, boy. Where have you been? I've been worried sick. Why? Who's that with you? That's Chester. He helped me carry the stuff. Chester? Oh, proud for you. Ma'am, how do you do? Why? Why, you're... Raz? This is Matt Dillon's assistant. Yes, Mom. You got to look in the bag, Mom. Go on. Now, what have you done, Raz? Held up the stagecoach. That's what he done, ma'am. What? Raz Hawkins... Have you been robbing again? How many times have I mauled you? You saying you was the one who told Brad, me. you shut your mouth now. Not another word out of you or I'll box your head. Oh, I hope he hasn't caused you any trouble, Mr. Mr. Proudfoot. Is it? Proudfoot, yes, ma'am. Uh, no, he ain't troubled me too much. He done his fair share of toting. It's just that I ain't used to walking in these boots. Brad, don't stand there. Get a chair for Mr. Proudfoot. Ain't you gonna look in the bag, Ma? Get the chair, Raz. All right. All the trouble I went to. Here you are. Oh, thank you. I tell you, it's mighty good to just say it. I'll fix you a nice supper before you go, Mr. Proudfoot. Maybe it'll help you to forgive my son for what he's done. Oh, forgiving won't be up to me, ma'am. Be more up to the bank people. Bank people? Uh, yes, ma'am. They're the ones sending the money. May I see that bag, Mr. Proudfoot? Well, of course you can't hear me. You see, Ma, they're awful pretty. Red, so close. What? They're pretty, all right. Hey, oh, yeah. all them bills. Well, look at there, Ma. Where all them bills come from? Red, stay back. Red, why, you... Just wait till your pa hears about you. That's better than watches, huh, Ma? Raz, you better give me that gun of yours. I'll hold it so nobody gets hurt. Until you get out of that one. You play a tough game of checkers, Doc. Of course I do. But not tough enough. Uh, just a minute, Doc. Uh, uh, <laughs> You're beat, Doc. Take a look. <laughs> if I'd have had a waste of youth like you, maybe I'd be better at this game. Just talk, Doc. Plain, ordinary talk. Yeah. When Chester gets back, I can start winning again. Well, then don't put the board away. You should be in here any minute now. Oh? Well, the stage just came in. Which one of you is the marshal? Well, I am. What's the matter? We've been held up, marshal. Huh? The stage has been held up. What? They got all the money, the whole 20000 What are you talking about? The banker in Hayes was sending it to Dodge City. But Chester was on that stage. Where is he? Well, they got him too, marshal. Took him with him. What? Forced him at gunpoint. Where did this happen? Well, not far from here. Just this side of James Crossing. Now... What are you going to do, Marshal? How many men were there? Well, I, I only saw one, but I, I think there was a man named Buck hid out somewhere. Matt, give me a rifle. You stay here, Doc. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you, Matt. All right, here. Thank you. I'll get my horse. Tell me something. Did, did Chester... 
put up a fight. Well, he, he looked to me like he was going to. He had an awful serious look on his face. Yeah. Chester, this time you may be in real trouble. Kill Chester. Keep your voice down. Listen to me, son. I can't let that money just walk away from here. Oh, it ain't right to kill somebody. Raz, don't make it any harder than it is. Him looking at me with them big, sad eyes of his. Now, here's what I want you to do. Me? You ain't expecting me to do it. Don't be so selfish, Raz. Think of your pa and the boys coming home to all that money while we'd never have to steal a solitary cent again. Well, I ain't never going to steal again anyway. Rat. No, Ma. I never went against you before, but I am now. Just one quick shot before supper. No, I tell you. A son is bound to obey his ma. Not in something like this, he ain't. We never done killing before, and we ain't going to start with Chester. And it... Looks like I'll have to do it myself. Why can't we work for a living like everybody else? Chester? Chester, honey, come on in. Supper's ready. Yes, Mom, I'll be right there. On second thought, I think I'll wait till after supper. Them sweet breads turned out pretty good. Be ashamed to waste all that food. <laughs> stage almost left the road. Yeah, a single horse ran off that way. Oh. See, uh, Matt, look. Footsteps over here. Huh? Oh, yeah. Two men. What do you make of it, Matt? I don't know. And they continue up this way. Yeah, right off across the... Oh, Matt. You... you don't suppose they walked Chester off a ways, Nick? I don't know, Doc. But we'll follow these steps as far as they go. Come on. Calls on me for help all the time. And my, these sweet breads are tasty. You know, my mom used to make them this way. I was just little, but I can still remember. Anything you don't see, just ask, Chester. Well, thank you. Yeah, like I was saying, Mr. Dillon really needs me. Now, today, for instance, I was coming back from Hayes City after taking some legal documents over for him, you know. Mm, sure wish I could get a job like that. So do I, Raz. Oh, now, Raz will make out, Miss Hawkins. I'll just take this money and everything back, and when Mr. Dillon hears how Raz didn't know he was stealing the bank's money, why, if I ask him, he'll just come on out and talk to Raz. Hey, Ma didn't say nothing about bank money. Raz, keep still. Eat your supper. Yes, and especially when I tell Mr. Dillon what a nice mama Raz has got. You know, ma'am, I, I didn't never get to know my mama. Chester. She died when I was just a teeny-inchy little fellow. Chester. You know something you're talking from what I can remember, she is a good deal like you. Here, Chester. Take the gun. Gun? What a... Oh, you've been keeping it from Raz. Now, ma'am, that ain't necessary no more. I figure he's kindly seen the light. Raz, get him out of here. Well, what did I do? Chester. Oh. Hi. Why, Mr. Dillon and Doc, well, now, how did you get 
kid. Having yeah. a nice supper, sir? Oh, yes, Doc, I am. Oh, Mr. Dillon, everything is all right. I got the money from the bank, the watches, and everything is sitting right there on the table. Now, ain't you glad? Yeah, I'm glad, Chester. Ma, the marshal's come to take me away like he did Luke and Zed. Hello, Hetty. I might have known you'd come, Matt. You two know each other? Doc, uh, I want to talk to Hetty. Would you and Chester take Raz outside? Oh, yes, ma'am. Come on, Chester. All right. Well, it's been a long time, Matt. Yeah, Hetty, it has. I'd almost forgotten about you. I was hoping you had. Since you put Pa and the boys away, I've been waiting on Raz, waiting for him to grow up, but looks like I waited too long. Eddie, I want you... Matt, don't preach to me. Oh, you win in a way. Because poor Raz won't ever be any more than he is right now. And you'll let him be himself? Only Raz. Could bring home twenty thousand dollars and a marshal's assistant at the same time. And you'll let him be. Well, I'll let him be. I promise you that. Good. Uh, I'll drop by once in a while, though, just to make sure. <laughs> Wouldn't be you if you didn't. Eddie, I was at the window when you. When you changed your mind about shooting, Chester. Matt, did you ever take a good look at him? Yes, I have. He's safe wherever he goes. Yeah. Look, Hetty, I'm going to tell him in Dodge that the hold-up man dropped his loot making a getaway. Now I can get the money to the bank and the watches back to the passengers. Well, I didn't... I think I'd ever thank you, Matt. But Raz, well, he's all I got left now. That's not why I'm doing it, Hetty. Thank you, Matt Dillon. Can I serve you a cup of hot coffee before you go? Uh, no thanks, Hetty. <clears throat> uh, Hetty. The, the satchel. Oh, dear. Here you are. Goodbye, Hattie. Howard McNear is Doc, and Georgia Ellis is Kitty.